up YouTube it's your girl Zoe and welcome back to my channel if this is not your first time here I wanted to say thank you so much for coming back and if this is your first time I want to give you guys a big welcome thank you for coming to my channel make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can join this family and in today's video as y'all can tell by the title we're going to be talking about hair growth now that is a big topic for a lot of natural curly hair anybody men or women it's a very big topic and a lot of people have different techniques and different tips that they use in today's video i'm going to give you guys my five top tips to growing hair now this is something that i've been doing since i've started my natural curly hair journey even though i've been natural pretty much my whole life i didn't really knuckle down and take my hair really really serious until it probably like three years ago before that i was always natural but my hair was always in buns i washed it and then as soon as i washed it i would take it while it was wet and put it in a bun my hair would smell like wet towels like it was just horrific it was bad y'all so i didn't really start knuckling down and learning different things and learning my hair and what my hair likes and the techniques that i personally love i didn't really get into that until about two three years ago and since then it's been a breeze and i love my natural hair and i love what i do and i'm going to give you guys my techniques and my tips that i use for hair growth in today's video let's start off with number one my first tip to growing hair would be moisture i cannot emphasize this enough moisture is key to growing hair moisture is really key to everything hair like our hair naturally throughout the day it dries out and then we're going outside with the wind and all the elements and everything like that it's just it takes away from the moisture and the minerals and the vitamins everything that we need in our hair every day doing different things to it it just it gets really bad and dry hair is a no-go nobody likes the look of dry hair nobody likes the feel of dry hair dry hair does not make your curls defined dry hair is not good for your scalp it's not good at all so moisture is key i'm telling you guys so personally me i always recommend leave-in conditioners i do not use regular conditioner like conditioner you just put on your hair and let sit for five minutes and then rinse out i don't do it it's not beneficial for my hair there's so many better ways to get moisture into your hair and to me doing that type of conditioning it just doesn't work for me now it might work for you that might be something that you like to do continue to do it by all means but for me i cannot do just regular conditioner one i have to use a leave-in always not having a leave-in is non-negotiable like i have to have a leave-in at all times so i definitely use a leave-in conditioner in place of a regular conditioner in the shower i use a deep conditioner now you can use a mask a deep conditioner whatever i like to rotate it or i i like to experiment with mask like there's so many different deep conditioning and mask out there for your hair i personally like to try them all that's just something that i like to do with that certain product i have my go-to leave-ins and i just experiment with deep conditioners and masks that's just me but right now i do use shea moisture the deep conditioning mask now what i do in place of that i use a deep conditioner to really get that moisture inside and locked into my hair i do that every time i wash my hair so when i do my wash and goes i always use a deep conditioner in place of a regular conditioner or a mask and I will let that sit for at least 15 minutes. So I wash my hair, I put my deep conditioner or my mask in, I get out the shower, do whatever I need to do, let it sit for 15 minutes or longer. And then I just go into the sink or flip my head over in the bathtub and just rinse it out. That's what I like to do. I like to get that moisture deep in there. So those are my two tips as far as moisture. Always use a leave-in conditioner. In place of a regular conditioner, use a deep conditioner or a mask. I highly recommend that. It's so important to have moisturized hair. Like dry hair is just not good at all. Make sure you have that moisture. And then throughout the weeks, I know some people like to wear their wash and goes for two weeks and then they wash their hair again. In between those two weeks, at least around the five day mark, refresh your curls and use moisturizers to do that. Use a leave-in conditioner just to put that moisture back into the hair because after five days of letting your hair just be free, it is going to dry out. So you need to go ahead and put that moisture back in. So find products that are going to bring moisture back into your hair and restore the moisture after you've had five or six days of just doing whatever to your hair. Now my second tip would be oils. I cannot express how beneficial oils are for your hair. 
oils they're going to put back the minerals the vitamins that's also another moisturizer that you can use as oils oils just have so many different benefits for your hair so I highly recommend using oils so I'm going to show you guys the top oils that I like to use personally so the first one that I like to use is organic coconut oil guys I cannot stress this enough when it comes to oils make sure the oils you get are the best kind of oils for your hair there's so many different oils out there on the market and a lot of them will have a list of 20 million different ingredients that you can't even pronounce and it's like why get an oil that is supposed to be only coconut oil but it has 20 other different ingredients like that can't be good for your hair so stay away from those kinds whenever you get an oil you want to make sure that the ingredient in the oil is only the oil and that's what's going to give you the best benefits for your hair coconut oil has so many good benefits for your hair it brings moisture plus it smells great it has all the vitamins and minerals that you need for your hair it's just overall so amazing i only use this oil when i'm about to wash my hair so i don't use this oil every day or every five days i only do it when i do my wash and goes because this is a heavier oil it will weigh down your hair and it just doesn't it's not good to just keep it in your hair i keep it in for around an hour or so and then i go in and rinse it out before i do my wash and goes the next oil that i absolutely love is extra virgin olive oil like i said with the coconut oil the only oil that needs to be in olive oil is olive oil the best place to go to get this would be in the food section that's where you're going to get the best and the purest form of the oil is in the food section usually the oils that are in the hair section are a no-go so this oil has so many different benefits as well also brings the vitamins the minerals the moisture the whole nine the same thing with the coconut oil i only leave this in my hair for up to an hour or maybe a little bit longer and then i rinse it out before i do my wash it goes i don't leave this in same thing it weighs your hair down it's just not good to keep it in your hair you want to get that quick boost of moisture you can even do a hot oil treatment with these and you'll be good to go my next oil that i absolutely love is avocado oil now avocado oil is really good for so many different things like there's even masks that you can do with real avocados but you can get the same benefits just from avocado oil as long as it's the pure form of avocado oil i got this from the food section as well right from walmart i do the same thing like i do with the coconut oil and the olive oil i just put this in my hair and then i rinse it off my next oil that i absolutely love i'm gonna say that for every oil i absolutely love it but i really do i love oils in my hair it's just it just does something i can't explain it until you try it like it just it just changes your hair it's just a miracle worker like it blesses it for real so the next oil is black castor oil now this is jamaican black castor oil and this is the extra dark one i don't know the difference between the regular color and the extra dark color but it's like extra dark it has extra benefits to me in my head so i'm gonna get the one that's extra so that's why i got this i got this actually from target now black castor oil is very very good for hair growth as well i focus this oil on my scalp because a healthy scalp is healthy hair and healthy hair equals hair growth period and i'm going to enter like different photos and probably pause this video and let you guys know the very detailed benefits of each oil i don't remember it off the top of my head i did my research i'm like oh i'm just gonna do it and i've just done it and it's just that's just what i do i'm not a technical person like oh what exactly does this oil do like what's the what's each benefit of it does it do this does it do that that then that no very much of a general person i did my research the oils are good for your hair it helps with moisture helps with hair growth helps with keeping your hair strong and healthy that's all i need to know and i'm gonna get it these oils that i showed you guys today are just the oils that i personally love now i didn't bring the other oil that i use in here but the last oil that i use and this is kind of a daily oil that i'd use in my hair is jojoba oil that is a very very lightweight oil so you can use that oil every day if you want just to put moisture back in your hair keep put it on the ends to stretch it out put it on your roots it's very lightweight it's going to give you moisture boosts the vibrancy and all of that hobo oil is just a very good oil as well i just forgot to bring that in here but i do also recommend that oil as well now the third set that i recommend for hair growth would be rice water now a lot of people probably know about rice water but they never tried it i was one of those people i was like oh, rice water in my hair like no way but i've tried it and i absolutely love it now rice water is something that i only do on my wash days i just do a quick rinse you don't need to keep the rice water in your hair 
overnight you can but you don't have to you can do a quick rinse just with rice water and get all the same benefits as keeping it overnight it works wonders y'all you don't see a difference right away like all these people say you're gonna see results in a week you're gonna see results in two days more than likely it's not gonna happen that way no one really sees results from anything in two days not major results at least so it is something that you have to stay consistent with and rice water if you haven't tried it i highly recommend it i'm not gonna put in this video how i make my rice water and all the details on how i use it i'll save that for another video plenty of videos out there that show you guys how to use rice water you can go ahead and go check those videos out and i'm telling y'all try it you're going to love it the results are amazing there's so much history into rice water when it comes to people in the past using it and how they used it for hair growth and their hair is like way down to their feet do your research rice water is very very good the fourth tip that i have for hair growth would be protective hairstyles now it is good to wear your hair out like this a lot it is good to have your hair free but it does do damage to your ends it's out in the wind it's it's just your ends are not covered and if anyone doesn't know what a protective hairstyle is a protective hairstyle is when your ends are tucked away and not exposed to the elements of the world these are some protective hairstyles box braids bantu knots goddess locks passion twists those are all very very good protective hairstyles even if you do your own hair and just braiding it back into little two pigtails that's a protective hairstyle do twist outs on your hair anything that's going to have your ends tucked away is very good so for hair growth definitely stay consistent with your protective hairstyles i recommend once a month twice a month is very good for protective hairstyles and then having that weight pulled down on your hair because box braids and goddess socks they get heavy y'all they're heavy like you be walking around like this like your neck be all hurt it's heavy but that weight is pulling on your roots and it's going to grow your hair it works both ways it keeps your ends healthy and then it's it's pulling down on your hair to create growth so highly recommend that now last but not least the most important tip of them all is stay consistent with anything in life if you have a goal in mind whether that's hair growth, whether that's a money goal, anything in life, any goal that you have, you will not achieve that goal if you do not stay consistent. You can't be like, okay, I'm gonna start my hair growth journey. I'm gonna do these four tips that we gave me today and just skip over the last stay consistent one. So I'm only gonna do it like for two months. And if I don't see any results, I'm just gonna stop it. It's like, you don't even see results with anything in life that quickly, at least major results. You have to stay consistent stay consistent stay consistent i can't stress it enough you have to stay consistent i have a routine and i follow that routine i've been following this routine for three years now never broken it i have a routine and i stay consistent with it and that's when you're going to see results and then when you see results you're like okay i'm not going to stop this because it's working but you can't do something for two weeks and like oh i don't see results i'm going to just stop it you're never going to get anywhere in your hair growth journey if you do that so guys if you're going to decide to implement rice water the oils and the deep conditioning the protective hairstyles you have to just stay consistent with it if you want to see major results i'm going to add one more tip on here just for fun but products is a very big play in hair growth you have to find the right products for you there is a lot of products on the market a lot of products that claim to do certain things for your hair but it doesn't you just have to find the products that work for you because what works for me and my hair might not work for you so if you have products that you are die hard about and you know they work for your hair do that experiment with products there's no heart in buying products and if it doesn't work to try something else just try it out and if it works for your hair cool if it doesn't find something else there's so many things out there you're destined to find something that works for your hair but guys that's pretty much the end of this video that's my five or six tips you can say that i give you guys moisture keep your hair moisturized use oils oils have so many benefits for your hair number three rice water try rice water i'm telling y'all you're gonna see results if you stay consistent with it number four protective hairstyles protective hairstyles weigh down your hair creating your hair to grow it also keeps the ends safe and it creates less split ends and damage ends so you don't have to keep cutting your hair so much every time you go to the salon and number five stay consistent stay consistent with anything you choose to do when it comes to your hair growth routine you also have to stay consistent and i guess number six find products that work for you don't be afraid to experiment use what works 
throw away what doesn't so y'all those are my tips there's not really much more i can say but y'all that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i hope y'all got some knowledge from this i hope if you do try it that it works for you if you like this video go ahead and give it a big thumbs up also hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell that way you're notified every time i drop a video and you never miss out on my content also leave a comment down below of any other videos you want to see from me on this channel i will highly appreciate it and don't forget to follow me on all of my social medias i'll have them linked in the description i'll catch you guys in my next video bye Thank you.